Hey everyone, in today's video we're taking a deep look at the mysterious Galaxy Ranger Acheron, the character that will take the crown as the best damage dealer in the game. Despite being a Nihility character, she can easily hit over 1 million damage, so whether you're a new player lucky enough to pull Acheron, or a seasoned veteran looking to optimize your team, this guide is for you. Let's start by taking a look at her kit. Acheron is a DPS Nihility character that doesn't require energy to use her ultimate, instead it requires stacks, Acheron whole kit works around two types of stacks, Slashed Dream and Crimson Knot. Slashed Dream is what Acheron required to use her ultimate, and Crimson Knot is the type of stacks that Acheron will be inflicting on enemies, which will deal damage to all target enemies when they get removed and the only way to remove them is by using the ultimate, Slashed Dream and Crimson Nod stack at the same time and frequency, every time Acheron gets Slashed Dream points she inflict one Crimson Nod on the enemy, she can gain Slashed Dream charges in 6 ways, Skill, Technique, Trace's first ability bonus, E2, Light Cones with built-in debuff, and the Talent. So let's start with the Talent, which will give Acheron 1 point of Slashed Dream when any unit inflicts debuffs on an enemy while using their ability. More than that, during Acheron's ultimate, the talent reduce enemies' toughness regardless of weakness types, and reduce enemies' all-type resistance. When Acheron reach 9 slash dream stacks, she can unleash her ultimate that will deliver 3 rainblades and 1 stygian research in succession, every rainblade will deal lightning damage to a single target, and remove 3 crimson knot stacks, which will deal damage to all enemies with an additional damage multiplier increased for every stack of crimson knot removed, up to a maximum limit, then stygian research deals lightning damage to all enemies, and remove all crimson knot. Acheron's skill is the most simple part of her kit, when she uses her skill, she deals lightning damage to a single enemy and minor lightning damage to the adjacent targets, also she gains one stack of Slashed Dream. Another way to gain Slashed Dream stacks is by using her technique, and that's when Acheron attacks the enemy dealing lightning damage to all targets and reduces their toughness irrespective of weakness types. Then she gains Quadrivalent Ascendance at the start of every wave, which will give her one point of Slashed Dream after she uses her ultimate. The best part of her technique is that attacking normal enemies will instantly defeat them without needing to enter battle, also you won't consume technique points if you don't hit enemies. Acheron traces are pretty powerful, enhancing her damage to the next level, starting with her first trace ability Red Ogre, which gives her 5 slashed dream stacks at the start of the battle. And when she reach 9 stacks, for every point of slashed dream that exceeds the limit, she gains 1 stack of quadrivalent ascendance to a max of 3 stacks, quadrivalent ascendance will turn into slashed dream stacks after using the ultimate. And that way we don't have to use her ultimate right away after hitting 9 stacks. The second trace ability is the most important one, since it can boost Acheron's damage by 115% or 160% respectively for having one or two other Nihility characters in the team. This requirement can be reduced to only one other Nihility character by getting Acheron's E2, so it's definitely worth it to get her second Eidolon, which will give you more options when picking characters for her team. The last trace ability will further boost Acheron's damage by 30% when Rainblade from her ultimate hits an enemy with Crimson Knot, this effect stack up to 3 times and last for 3 turns. And when Stygian Resurge triggers, Acheron deals additional damage for 6 times. When leveling up Acheron's abilities give priority to the ultimate first, which is her main source of damage, then talent, skill, and lastly basic attack. When we talk about relics without doubt Pioneer Diver of Dead Waters is Acheron's best relic set, as it provides her with crit rate and increased crit damage against debuffed enemies. The second best option is Band of Sizzling Thunder, with lightning damage and attack percentage boost, also we can use 4 piece genius of brilliant stars, this relic set is good for all DPS characters. Thanks to the defense ignore percentage of the 4 piece effect, as for planar ornaments, Izumo Jensei and Takuma Divine is the best pick, since Acheron's team will have at least one Nihility character. And that's exactly what this ornament set needs to boost Acheron crit rate by 12%, Firmament Frontline Glamoth also can make a good option, since the damage buff can work well with Acheron, as long as she have at least 135 speed. Another good option is Inert Salsado, which can provide crit rate buff and increase Acheron's ultimate damage. 
For Relic's main stats we need to get her crit rate or crit damage body depends on what she lack most, speed feet, attack percentage or lightning damage sphere, though attack percentage piece will result in slightly better damage outcome than the lightning piece, so you can choose the one with the better substats, and for link rope we need attack percentage. As for substats, give priority to crit rate and crit damage, then attack percentage and speed, try to get her at least 134 speed so she can get more turns in one cycle, and in case you will run her in a team with sparkle, you need to replace the speed feat with attack percentage. As always the best light cone to use on Acheron is going to be her signature light cone along the passing shore, which increases her crit damage by 36%. And when she hits an enemy, she inflicts him with empty bubbles for one turn, enemies inflicted with this bubbles will receive 24% more damage from Acheron's attacks, and the damage from her ultimate will get further increased by 24%. As an alternative 5-star light cone, we can use Silver Wolf Signature Light Cone Incessant Rain, it has a built-in debuff that can help Acheron generate stacks, and it also offers crit rate and bonus damage. If you don't have this light cone or you are already using it, then you can use Welt Signature Light Cone which is available in the shop, patience is all you need is another decent option. As for 4 star light cones, good night and sleep well is the best option, since it works so well with Acheron, for every debuff the enemy has, Acheron's damage dealt gets increased by 12% stacking up to 3 times. This makes it your best option if you don't have access to 5 star light cones, in case you don't have this light cone either, then you can use its showtime, which can be easily obtained from Priceless Jewels shop. Acheron Eidolons are so powerful and broken, even at E0 Acheron still considered one of the best DPS characters in the game, but if you plan to open Eidolons then make sure to aim for E2, as it significantly simplifies the selection of the team because it will reduce the Abyss Trace requirement to only one Nihility character to get the 160% damage boost, and it will provide one stack of Slash Dream every time Acheron's turn starts which will allow her to use ultimate more often, if you can't get E2, then try to get E1 for 18% crit rate increase when dealing damage to debuffed enemies, in case you have to choose between signature light cone and E1, then it's better to go for the light cone, as it will bring more benefits. E4 will increase the amount of damage enemies receive from ultimate by 8%, it's good, but it doesn't worth spending all those stellar jades for, unless you are going to get E6 which will turn your Acheron to the most powerful damage dealer in the game, increasing the all-type resistance penetration by 20%, and turning the damage dealt by basic attack and skill to be considered as ultimate damage, that way her whole kit will benefit from E4 buff. Acheron's team will depend on whether she has her E2 unlocked, as in this case you will need only one Nihility character in the team, however, even with E2 it still makes sense to use two Nihility characters since usually they are the ones who are able to apply debuffs to enemies, Acheron will also benefit from supports that can increase attack, crit and penetration effect, as well as providing additional skill points. Because Acheron will have to use her skill every turn, for this reason she pairs extremely well with Sparkle, Wan Mei, and Bronya. For E0 Acheron, the best F2P friendly team would be with Pella and Ginelefin as supports, and Gallagher as a healer. We can replace Ginelefin with Silver Wolf if you have her, she would be better, and Gallagher can be replaced with Aventurin or Fu Xian. Another team can be made by using Welt as Sustain, he will fill the 2 Nihility character requirement alongside Pella, that way we can get a place to use Sparkle or Bronya. But it will be tricky to use Welt to Sustain, so this team is not recommended for average players. Acheron's E2 teams will have the flexibility to use Harmony characters, so the ideal team will feature Pella, Sparkle, and Gallagher. Also we can use Fire Trailblazer to sustain with Trend of the Universal Market Light Cone, which provide Acheron with more stacks. If you found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.